This is a chemical test for beaten ice cream by Kruger. We will set this experiment up by applying the cream liberally on one subject and then leaving no cream on the other subject. They will then submerge their arms into a beehive for three minutes. After that, we will count how many bites each of them receive and we will compare the differences. This is a classic example of randomized comparative experiment. Bean ice cream by Kruger, experiment one. Grace will receive the ointment. And Alex will not have the ointment. Right, they're going to submerge their hands into this infested pile of bees and see which one has less bites. All right, guys, for three minutes, three minutes we'll hold our arms in there. You ready? Okay, and let's put them in, submerge them. <laughs> All right, three minutes is up. We're going to take it out of the box here and see the uh, outcome here. Ooh. Bites. Ooh, it does look like the cream has dampened the bee's spirits. After analyzing the bee stings for the non-bee nice ointment, Alex had 32, and Grace, who applied liberally the bee nice cream, received only 11. However, I am concerned of the screams and fear that Alex showed while he was submerged in the beehive and perhaps his fear attracted more bee stings. We will now attempt a matched pair design which will require them both to put some of the be nice cream ointment liberally on one arm and leave the other arm completely naked. By doing this on both subjects, we hope to eliminate the bias of fear or any other type of lurking variable that could confound our study based on genetics. We live? Okay, so I'm gonna put X's through her old spot so we don't recount those. And uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Okay, and then we apply the ointment to only one arm this time. Right. Okay. Kruger, you're next. All right. Be nice cream by Kruger. Test two. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, three minutes is up, guys. Pull them out. All right, we're gonna we're, we're gonna count the bee stings. All right, here uh, this is the non ointment arm, and I have one, new, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven new bee stings on the non ointment, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Six on the other, 11 to 6. It seems like the Kruger <laughs> ointment has worked. All right, let's just check this arm over here. All right, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen new bites on the non ointment. And let's see, oh, this is very one, two, three, four, and five. It looks like the ointment does work. <laughs> 
As you can tell from our matched pairs designed experiment, as you can tell from our matched pairs experiment, the Be Nice Cream by Kruger has a drastic improvement upon bee stings and is on sale this week. Two easy payments of $19.95.